In this video, I will show you how we can fix this UV texturing issue we see here. Again, this comes from this um, bevel modifier. And actually, because of this problem, I can also illustrate a general process tip, which is very valuable. The, um, 3D modeling on CAD is not just about making the final piece. Very often you also hear me saying hand drawing, rendering, sketching, 3D modeling for me is all the same, it's just different tools. It's not the question what we do, the, the really important thing is why do we do this. Here in Blender, like let's say in this case, I can very quickly, thanks to the modifiers, explore various positioning or angles of these legs. Okay, good, the texture is wrong. Uh, but right now it doesn't really matter much because I'm not focused on making a final rendering. I'm focused on exploring actually the design of this table. Uh, so that's also what we have here, a top raw, a top refined. You're documenting your individual steps because it's all about process. Again, it's not really jumping right into to the end result. This is why sometimes people say hand sketching is faster because CAD is slow, because they used in a processing CAD that is simply actually slow. Kind of like more making a CAD model for engineering, but not using CAD to explore an idea, like what you do in my class. Okay, so let's assume this is all proportion-wise fine. So we will call this maybe concept. Then shift D, we make a copy. And then we can call this rendering. All this can go away. Very good. And in our case, this modifier here, the bevel modifier, that is the one, the little stinker that creates problems. This one is actually pretty good. The rest is all good. So we need, in our case, to apply this. So we turn this on and then say apply. Very good. And then when we go into edit mode, select this face and you see the big difference is now instead of having a sharp edge, we have now all these faces. Pretty cool, no? And some some texturing here uh, broke too. So we have to actually quickly repeat this process of uh, texturing and then unwrapping. But it's not really that much of a problem. Um, it's a nuisance, that is true. Welcome to computer graphics. Okay, so I will turn this length thing off since I have this uh, visually there. So I select these two faces. I don't need to work with my material. That's all pretty much on autopilot. All I need to do here now is quickly switch to this material. Very good. Yeah, and there we can see what's uh, looks kind of funny. You unwrap done. And you see, problem is fixed. That wasn't that complicated. Now, H and H, this is all good, but here we have an issue. So these faces, they, when, they didn't really exist when we unwrapped these two faces. So let's select all this, and there we can see now the problem we have, and then U and unwrap, there it is, very good. We can actually turn on this one. So we have a scale reference, AA. Go to here, press L, R minus 90, 490. Go to here, bring this in, scale this down a little bit, since that's the inside. And then S and Y. And make those line up there. You see now when we actually switch here to this view, there we are. Good, fixed. You see, while 
annoying to do, it's not really that much of a big time problem. No, because we do a nice veneer on the outside, this rounding is actually really excessive. So this bevel command, now we can maybe set to one millimeter, two millimeters. Yeah, this looks actually better. Now this feels like a thick um, veneer on top and then the plywood layers inside and then with a sandpaper or router, we trimmed this a little bit. Very good, Alt H and we corrected the UV distortion of the bevel command and also created ourselves a new copy or not a new copy. Yeah, actually we made a new copy and we created an element to render, so our lag rendering. Now for concept, this is again, this is more for modeling. So we never really want to have this for rendering. This is for rendering. So here we want this actually to be on. Those should be off. And later when we put all this, for example, into a scene for rendering, then this tabletop raw and like concept, we, for example, don't really need. We can just simply ignore it. Or when we append everything, we just remove those because everything will be see visually right now. That is only what maybe we want to render.